to Coffee and Chats again with just Adam this week. Uh, Kels is with the kids, so she's looking after them today. And today we are joined by Mr. Paul, Mr. Paul Harknett, who is currently, he's like in the middle of the Back in Charge blueprint. And it's just like I've invited Paul on today just to share his experiences of what it's actually like to be in the program and just getting started. Because, you know, in the past, I've always shared, you know, conversations with people that have finished the program. But now let's actually speak to someone who's actually in the program. So as always, if you are watching live, please just say hi in the comments and also let us know if you're there. But also, like, if you've got any questions that you would like to ask Paul about his experience in the program, Again, it's just an open conversation, and he'll tell you the truth, won't you? Well, I hope you will, Paul. But I will definitely. Yeah. But so if they ask us anything else, it'll be interesting. Isn't it? <laughs> That's it. So, Paul, welcome. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, good. Well, good. Got, got me coffee for the coffee chat. So I've already, I've already had my coffee today, so I'm actually on the squash now. <laughs> if right. I have any more coffee, then I'll be like motor mouth, and we'll be here all day. So uh, I've had to, right. had to rein it in a little bit. Yeah. So. Um, Oh, Andy. Andy, first one in. Andy. So, Andy, who's already in the programme. Good morning, gents. Good morning, Andy. Andy, how was your holiday, by the way? How was your holiday? Let me know how your holiday was, Andy. So, Paul, like, how's it going? Let's, let's start. How is it going for you? Like, why did you get started, first of all? Um, well, I think, um, I mean, I'm week five, so almost halfway through. Um, I think I am I'm a man who, I mean, I work in uh, financial services, banking, delivering big solutions and change and all that type of stuff. So a reasonably high profile, high stress job, um, although I'm quite cathartic in the way that I work. I'm a big believer in karma and sort of, you know, if, if you do the right things, good things come back to you. Um, I have been struggling with my weight on and off since I was about 17. At 17, I, you know, because I'm six foot five, 17, I was playing a lot of rugby, was 18 stone, great big unit, played a load of rugby, but would play Saturdays with teams my age group. Sundays with the local men's team and eat as much food as they would give me, basically. Um, and then, obviously, when I got into my 20s um, and was playing, continued playing the rugby and diving and all sorts of things at university, but um, then started the office grind, shall we say, and didn't really stop eating, really. <laughs> so just got bigger, basically. Um, I think my biggest, uh, I worked in the States in the late 90s to early 2000s and Living in America where food is readily available and reasonably cheap, and they always force more food on you. I mean, I think I ballooned up to about nearly sort of 26, 27 stone at one point. Uh, but we moved back to the UK, and I think I lost three stone in about two months by just not eating as much rubbish. Yeah. Um, I have often complained about being overweight to my family and friends. My, my older brother is an ex-rugby player, so he's, he used to play a very senior level rugby back in the 90s, so it's a while ago now. So he's always in the gym, he's always doing something, managing his back, and, that, and he literally said to me, about 2013, 14, I was moaning, and he said, mate, do a triathlon, you've got a bike, you can swim, you've always been a good swimmer, I used to swim a hell of a lot, um, particularly with the diving. Uh, and he said, uh, just do a triathlon. I bet you can't. Literally was, I bet you can't, right? Um, so that turned into, I bet I can. And he put some money on the table. Um, and I literally went, right, okay, I'm going to do this. And the money, and, and as soon as he did that, he said, right, now I want you to go for an ECG and get your heart checked out. Because if you're going to do one of those things, you don't want a massive heart attack right in the middle of it. Uh, and I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll sign Because I, I was working in Canary Wharf in London at the time. I said, right, I'm going to join the gym. I'm going to get a personal trainer. I'm going to do it all properly. I'll have it all checked out. And I did. It was one of those, because he'd stuck money down, I was going to do it. And I got into it. I mean, triathlons, uh, it, it depends. I mean, any type of sport that you do, um, for me, being an ex-rugby player, I, I love the sort of the stats and the things that you're doing and how you, you, know, you, you see yourself through that. And the three different disciplines are completely different. Um, swimming, I mean, I love swimming. I still do a lot of open water swimming every year. Um, and I've got some events coming that I've booked. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but that, for me, is sort of, it's very cathartic swimming because 
you can't do anything else apart from move and breathe. So it's quite meditative in its way. And I've started meditation this week, so we'll come back to that. Um, but then the cycling, there's loads of stats. You, I mean, cycling has become, I suppose, for the middle-aged man, <coughs> um, it's become the new golf, basically. It's the, you know, if you've got you know, a little bit of, actually, you don't need a lot of cash, to be honest. You can buy a second-hand bike. You can, you know, make it go faster if you want to. You can improve it. There's lots of things you can do. But you see lots of it. I mean, I've been, um, I've done loads to triathlon events now and the thing that always intrigues me is when you do these things and you see the people who are either in the british team or trying to get into the british team they turn up and they've got thirty thousand, you yeah, know forty thousand pound a lot of kit. You go, lot nice of kit. kit but i bet it probably goes as fast as mine does if you were on it sort of thing. yeah so, uh, you know, that's it it's all, the, all, the all, all the gear all the gear no idea <laughs> but you get into it and you do it i mean my i i got quite into i lost i was down to you know, so when i started the program i was 126 kilos which for those out there who wanted to convert to stone that's about 20 stone ish mm. um well, now, before we before we before we get on to that let's before yeah. we before we give away like what's you know before we show our hands right yeah like why did you like why did we have initially have a conversation and uh, why did we start talking? Why did you want to speak about it back in childhood? Yeah, I think, I mean, I've had, um, I think it's a couple of different things. I mean, in the last year, um, I think a combination of stopping triathlons, knee, which was all about knee injury, to be honest, that sort of stopped me really exercising heavily for about a year or so. I then started to try and get in spits and starts and it wasn't really going. Um, last year, uh, and actually it's continuing has been very stressful on the work front. Um, I mean, I, I had some time out of work for a while and I'm back in some work. And in the last 18 months or so, I've had the tax man um, threatening me with all sorts of intriguing stuff, which I know loads of other people in the country have had, and it's just ridiculous. And all of those things sort of were just becoming, we call it heavier, whether it's heavier in, yeah, heavier in the mind, heavier. And my reaction to that and my reaction to stress is I'll eat. It's as simple as that. I can eat, you know, if, if you sat me down in front of a buffet, I wouldn't stop eating until I exploded, probably. Mm. You know, the Mr. Creosote character in the Monty Python. I would just eat. Um, and I think the whole guilt around that eventually sort of gets to a peak um, and my brain goes, mate, you need to do something about this. And then I saw some of your stuff on LinkedIn and I saw a few bits. I just went you know, let, let's just get in touch. Let's just get in touch. And then we had the chat and you literally said to me, well, why wouldn't you just get on with it? <laughs> and, and, and as, the, as I do, I'm quite straight in, oh, you know, like, I just say things quite simply, then I just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But, but that's, that's what my older brother said to me a couple of years ago. That's what the, well, the personal trainer I had when I did triathlons was lovely lad. Um, he was very much of the, and he's a very good triathlete. And um, he was literally like, look, you're paying me to help you. I'm, you know, I'm here to help you. If if you don't turn up, I still get paid. But let's get on with it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. And I think that that I needed that um, someone like yourself to just go, mate, come on, let's just get on with it. But the program's different from the things that you've done before, which I which I think is the what I'm finding out now in week five is why the things that. Um, I'm discovering the things that really will make it sustainable and why it hasn't been sustainable before. Um, and I think that's probably one of the key bits of the program that I'd say to people, you know, don't just do it for the, yes, you'll change your diet. Yes, you'll drink more water. And those things are really good for you. Um, but the mindset training and those things are actually, for me, because um, I've never done some of those things before, they're intriguing, but actually mentally you can see how it works. Uh, and if you've ever trained for a marathon or any of those big events, you have to get your mind in the right place to do stuff. You have to go, right, I am going to cycle up that hill. I am going to run down that road. I am going to get out and do, oh, I've only done 3,000 steps. I'm going to get out and do some more steps. Um, and I think once you get in that, we'll call it can do, will do, want to do mindset, then that's a complete game changer for me. That's it. And which is, you know, like, which is where you're at now, isn't it? You know, you're yeah. week, week, week five, by the way, you know, you're week five of of the 12 week back in charge blueprint, you know, so like you're, you're very early on, you know, that like you've just gone through the, you know, you've just gone through the, the diagnosis phase of actually understanding who you are. Yeah. And like you said, it's the, like, this is filling in the gaps. Like anyone can go and follow a diet 
you know, you can go to slimming clubs, you know, you've got that. You can go to a gym, you can get a personal trainer to stand over you and train you. But like you said, that this is like different because it's filling in the gaps yeah. around it. Yeah, and, it, and and it's also a community. I mean, I mean, intriguingly, there's things from Andy going on. There's things from, but it, but it's the 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 other intriguing part is it's community because we're all yeah as human beings we are social animals, and actually the the stuff in the Facebook group and actually interacting with other people who are either yeah in advance of you or just starting the program I think is really good because it it's that sort of collective group of yes you can do this and this is how you can do it and tip hit little hints and tips from other people sort of help you along the way which is, which is a great way to do it and that, that comes back to some of your background in therapy and you know looking after people and that type of stuff but the collective well, yeah, that's yeah. it yeah you know like you know a little bit of background about myself is like yes i was a personal trainer you know i was one of those guys that would go to the gym and you know i'd be there with my clients at 6 a.m you know, 6 a.m. club, you know, we're there, you know, winning the day, you know, all the people that would just end up being too tired to get there. So I'll be there by myself, you know, and I'll just be there with my clients. But there's also a part of my career where I worked in a drug and alcohol rehab. You know, I think, did I touch on this with you? Yeah, yeah. Spoke about, yeah. So I'll be there and, you know, be there with, you know, with the clients and, you know, they would have, you know, alcohol addictions, drug addictions, you know, some of that mental health, you know, conditions and all of that. So it was that. And like I said to you yesterday, they would then go to the the counsellors and the therapists and be like, I'm never going to drink again. I'm never going to touch drugs again. And, the you know, like the therapist, the the, the counsellor, would just call the BS out and he goes, you can't say that. He goes, you can't say that because, you know, you don't know that. And then I was like, hang on a minute. Like the penny started to drop for me. I was like, hang on a minute. It's a bit like when people go on diets, when they try to lose weight, they cut carbs out. Carbs are bad. I'm going to cut the carbs out. No, I'm going to cut the sugar out. No, I'm going to cut the fat out. But you can't do that long term. And I was like, hang on. That's it. It's all about behavior change. Yeah. You know, it's a bit like Andy said, you know, Andy said earlier, like it's a program you know, like he says here, it's a program of sustainable beneficial changes, you know, and that's what it's all about. It's not about completely eliminating things. It's about making sustainable changes. So, so come on then, right? Let's come on, (laughs) come on, Paul, let's get down to some, let's get down some to to the nitty gritty, right? Where are you at so far with your weight loss? So, Started 120, 126 kilos, so close to 20 stone or just over 20 stone. Um, I'm now at the weigh in on last this Monday, just gone, uh, was 120.7, so that's about almost six kilos, six which kilos. is almost a stone. So, stone is, in right? five weeks is, is phenomenal. Um, they, and, and I think the, the key for I mean, the weights are the interesting thing. Actually, the body measurements I find quite intriguing as well because, you know, being a triathlon, I used to measure my blood levels a lot, but let's not go. That's another level. That's another level. You don't level. want to go that crazy. But, but things like, you know, my waist has reduced by about nearly 10 centimetres, which is, you, you go, which you go. In, the, so no. in 10 centimetres in how many weeks? In five. Yeah. 10 centimetres well, in five weeks. Well, four weeks technically because it was start of week five. So, you know, it's, yeah. But but that's, and hips have gone in a little bit. Chest has gone in a little bit. Um, and, and and sort of I'm losing the fat out in the middle of my body. You can almost, yeah. And actually my good lady wife said to me the other day, she said, your, your tummy's getting smaller. And I said, well, I did tell you I was doing it. And she went, that's it. okay. That's a, that's a positive. <laughs> and, and for me, the, you know, one of the things I always use is the, the belt notches you know my belt notch i've gone from the one that was right at the end so i'm now like two or three in which is you know that's a couple of inches off your waist as well so exactly so they're the figures yes like, that's the data right like like you're a man i'm a, you know we love data we love numbers right this is what we do you know we live for numbers right the geeky stuff right but how is that how is that now playing out in real life situations like how are you feeling you know like like the energy the confidence all of that you know the pain fill it out now how are you progressing yeah i think i I can i can play that into a couple of different things i think the because week five 
but you step up into doing more steps a day. So you start 7,000 a day and then you build it up and now it's 10,000. Uh, and Tuesday I went into London. So I did the commute into London. Um, and I was thinking, right, now I know I'm going to go to the office and I know that on the way to the office, there's the tube, there's all the escalators. There's, you know what? I'm going to walk up those escalators. I'm, I'm not going to try and run up them. I'm going to just keep moving. So rather than standing there, I'm just going to keep moving at every opportunity. Um, and that um, plus, you know, the tubes weren't doing the right thing. So I went a different route and, and I thought, right, well, I'm going, I'm coming into Canary Wharf from, from a different angle. I'm going to get off the DLR a step early, a stop earlier, yeah. and I'm going to walk in, uh, and accidentally popped into a little cafe and had a lovely breakfast. Um, yeah, high protein, low calories, obviously. Um, and then, to, so by the time I got to the office, so which was just before nine o'clock, I'd done five and a half thousand steps already. So it was like, right, we are we are rocking. Yeah, I'd, I'd done the the other sort of um, meditation and stuff on the train on the way in. Yeah. So like, right. Here we go. We're off, and I think that's for me. That's one of the biggest changes is just the will do, can do, get on with it attitude. I found that sort of like this morning. This morning I was up at quarter past five because I wanted to get down to my garage where the turbo trainer is, do one of the thirty-minute hit sessions um, with you and the good lady wife, and then get on the bike for another forty-five minutes or well, thirty-five minutes to you know burn some calories basically so so i did that so i was back up at the house before the my good lady wife got out of bed so i took her a cup of tea she said have you been doing been some work um and i think that then that then sets you up you know the, the thing about winning the morning helps you win the day I, it, it for me it's starting to embed it's becoming more and more habits and i think the habits uh, you yeah, know whether it's the cold showers whether it's the writing down what your gratitude yeah all those things are starting to build the mindset into a much more positive way yeah. um, which means you then want to go so i've already looked at my weekend and what's coming bank holiday weekend booked a bike ride with an old mate on monday so yeah we'll be out for a couple of hours there'll yeah. probably be coffee and possibly a cake we'll see what happens if which, <laughs> which is cool though right like that's the thing you know like you know not gonna lie i love a cake you know i, I love a cake you know you know just ask kerry ask you know anyone you know I love cake. So it's, you know, and you can make it work. Oh, yeah, cool. And, and that's the thing I bought because Andy suggested the um, the vegan um, supplementary food, mm -hmm. which is um, Hue, Hue. Yeah. Um, and, and I've got some of those now. So what I might do on that bike ride is I'll take a, a Hue bar with me. That's you. it. And it's, you know, you're learning. That's the thing. Like It's an educational process for you as well. Yeah. You know, it's not just like you do this and you're like, okay, like just nod and okay, like do it. Like you're learning as as you go through the program, which is which is great. Yeah. So like this is good. Like you through your, you know, you doing the program, like you're now looking at things in the future that you could be doing. Yeah. You know, like we spoke about this briefly yesterday in the group call. Like you were doing things that, you know, like you're, you know, you've signed up to some, you know, other events. Yeah. You know, and you know, like you look like you feel like you've got a bit of a you know a buzz back for it all, you know, which is yeah, definitely which is great, you know. But how different is that from like say for example, like you didn't do the back and charge blueprint and you know, like when we had the initial conversation, you decided that it, you know, you were gonna do it and you was gonna stay where you were. Like how different would the two like, you know, this is one of the tasks, the two buffs, yeah. how different are how are the two? I think that for me, um, in the summer months, I, I always go and swim. So I would have done that anyway. But now, um, with with the events I've booked myself in you know, July um, or, and August and September, there's targets to it. So the targets will make me just like any you know anybody who's doing a big event or any triathlete that books loads of events throughout the year. I've got targets to aim for, and those targets will drive me to achieve them. It's that sort of balance of you want to get up and do stuff. You want to do the three, yeah, three exercises a week. I've been doubling some of my stuff because I know I, you know, and and as I've been doing it, my body's going, yeah, I, I remember how to do this. Come on, let's let's, you know, go a bit faster. You can do this, um, and I think that that's that's where I'm going. I think last year. I wouldn't have done it. I would have done the, I might have done, I would have done some of the swimming and I would have done a little bike ride with me mates every now and again, but it would have, I would have found excuses not to do it basically. Um, yeah. Uh, and I think that's for me, the whole two paths training, which comes at week five, that for me 
cemented some of the mental stuff to go you know what in three years time i do not want to be in the same situation i don't want to be doing that i want to be fit flexible you, you know, wouldn't be in this i'm yeah. just going to interrupt you there paul the yeah. thing is though you wouldn't be in the same situation because we don't stay because you're going to be three years older yeah right yeah. you're going to be three years older then you know it's just this is the thing people think that where if they stay if they don't do anything they stay how they are yeah no you, you get, don't you know you get you worse. don't exactly because you're becoming older mm. you know and then the the thoughts you're reinforcing your beliefs in so it's even harder so that mountain actually gets bigger of what you've got to climb yeah you know and also like if you are overweight you know and if you do have health complications they become worse as well so it's like you know we never stay still you know but it's good that you've actually like you, you took the action you stepped in and you know like you're you're making the changes now like we all have apprehensions we all have apprehensions about things and and all of that now like what like what was in plan on in your mind so like when when we first spoke about you know like should i do this should i not do this well because like, let's be honest like you know you've seen yeah. me on linkedin yeah, you know yeah. we we didn't know each other personally yeah. like, you, you didn't know me from adam right yeah. but like like what apprehensions would you have had I think it's for me it's the because i've you know spent money on personal training and all that type of stuff before it i knew i could do something to make my life better you know whether and i i looked at because should i join weight you know weight watchers should i and it's like well all of those things are interesting but actually they there's not a program there there's a it's a diet it's not anything else from that and then i saw your stuff and I went digging around all the social media things and digging in the background and going, well, you can't have that many people saying you, that you're great at what you do unless you're great at what you do. It's, it's pretty bleeding obvious. Mm -hmm. um, so that sort of, for me, was the mental right. So here's someone who's got a program, has been doing it for, I think, 16 years, I think you said to me. And, and it's like... Oh, okay. more than that now, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. therefore, there's something you can go and do and make it happen. And, you know, the guarantee of what you're going to do in the 12 weeks and all that type of stuff. I went, you know what? Let's just do it. You know, it's, it's, mm. I've got to that point mentally where I'm, I was... Uh, you know, when, when I spoke to you, I think I was... I'm, Low is not the right word because I'm a generally a positive person about life. Uh, I work in change, so I know life changes and you deal with it, basically. I deal with crap all day. So, But therefore, it's like, right, if you're not willing to make a change for me, it's almost that, what am I doing for me, given that if I don't look after me, then I can't look after all the people that I love. So it's like, you know, do it, get it done, make it happen. And, and you, our first conversation, you went, why, why wouldn't you just do this? And I was like, you are right, Adam. Why wouldn't you do this? <laughs> cool, cool. So, like, is there anything else that, you know, that you've that you've enjoyed about the process so far? I think simple changes. I think the, the really simple things about, you know, week one, well, look, you know, take some pictures of what you're having for breakfast, send it around, share it, and, and then go, well, hold on a minute, you're eating, you know, like I was, three or four tea cakes for breakfast because it was the th quickest thing to grab because I couldn't be asked to get out of bed early enough to, to get to the first meeting. So you're just grabbing as much rubbish as you can, loads of coffee, crack on with the day, see what happens. And then between meetings, you might grab another chocolate bar or whatever. So that was, that was, yeah, that was where I was. Um, but then the simple change of, right, well, your breakfast is full of sugar and fat and crap and carbs. Um, change it make some simple changes get some more eggs in your life get some more bacon in your life if, if if you eat meat or get something that's giving you more protein is healthier more colors on the plate i mean lunchtime i mean i love lunchtime now i mean i've, I've already planned the next three or four because i've got loads of salad i've got celery i've got cucumbers i've got i haven't done I, I couldn't find decent radishes when i went shopping this morning but i've got beetroot i've got carrots i've got all sorts of stuff and that's going to go on the plate first and then I'm going to add the protein. And it's like your brain completely changes around what looks good on a plate. And then that's what you're going to, that's what you're going to eat. Um, and, and I think that combined with other people doing the program, pictures of the stuff that they're doing, 
Um, and <laughs> like what Andy's just said. I just made exactly the same point. It, it, that then inspires you to, oh, look, someone's, yeah. I think one of the things I found was, yeah, there's a, a Quaker Oats do a protein version of their porridge, which has got more protein in it. That with, um, I use pea milk because I'm not a big, I've never been a great fan of milk. So pea, pea milk has got loads of extra protein in it. Tesco's do one of those. And, and other and, and, and other supermarkets, we should advertise others. Um, and you mix that together and all of a sudden you're getting loads of protein with something that takes you about two or three minutes to make. And then you throw some you know, blueberries in it. Happy days. Away you go. Um, and I think that's where my brain's now gone with you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner now because it's all about controlling all of that. Um, and this week, because week five, you introduced the calorie targets and the protein targets. That for me, given that you know, I'm a data person and I love the data, it's like, right. I'm going to get, keep under that calorie target every single day, no matter what. Um, and I'm going to smash the protein all over the place. It's going to be miles ahead of where it was. I That's think it, I did right? it yesterday. I broke the protein by about, I think um, mine's 145. And I think I did about 180 or 190 yesterday. It was like, ha -ha. Look at that. Winning, <laughs> winning. That's it. That's it. Cool. So, Paul, I, if there's anyone watching this fit night, the, the usual if anyone's watching this and yeah. you know they're intrigued about the back and charge blueprint they've heard about it you know like they're in a cinema situation to where you were like 126 kilos just not feeling down but like like yeah. just feel like you're hitting a wall like yeah, nothing yeah. nothing well, progressing even even you know struggling to walk up the stairs that that for me i you know i hate being in a situation where you can't do the simple things in life and walking up the stairs when you're 126 kilos it's hard work it's hard work you are dragging yeah. you are dragging a lump with you yeah. well you are a lump and you're dragging it up the stairs well the thing is as well now it's like where we're coming into like in the uk like where we're coming into summer like you know like going into work and yeah. then it's going to be hot you're wearing a shirt then you're going to be sweating like it's having all of that in the background as well it's like do you yeah. really want to be in that position yeah so it's like well what would you say to someone that is in that position currently but without just saying oh just do it like what would you say to that person i think where i'd go with it is that balance of and it would all depend on whether they've ever exercised in their life before or whether they've never bothered or, or what they like doing and what their family because if if i mean we've got dogs we've all had dogs so you know there's always you to walk you go and walk the dog um and when i needed to get more steps in last night i took the dogs for a you know a, about a 40 minute walk and i smashed me ten thousand steps and i think it's make changes that suit your life but actually realize that you, know, you don't need to be a fantastic sports person or the most flexible person in the world to do this you can make simple changes that's going to benefit your health in the short medium and long term that then naturally helps your body start burning the fat and getting rid of the fat and as you start losing it then you'll realize oh hold on a minute i can do this and, and it's not complicated. It's not, it really isn't that complicated. Um, if you want to do what I'm starting to do, which is you really start pushing the exercises, well, well, crack on, have a nice time. You've got loads of content that you, I mean, I was searching through all the exercise. I mean, what's there, um, 50 or 60 different exercise programs? You, no, I was not. just going, right, I'll no, have no, 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 that no. one. Oh, what's that? Yep, yeah, I want the, I'll, 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 I need to. I need to stop you there, Paul. There's not, I've actually like, I've actually recorded over 180. Oh. So all right so so fill your boots right yeah. fill your boots with those yeah and it's and it's all available at different levels and mm. it's almost i think that's the realization for me as someone who has done lots of exercise in the past is it's if you want to push yourself it's all there to help you do it if you've never done it before it's all there to, it's help, all there you to help you do it <laughs> exactly yeah. right it exactly doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter where you're starting from mm. whether you're experienced it's all about anybody can do this doesn't matter what shape size age it'll work for anybody yeah cool and finally like do you feel like this is something that you could continue with yes i think i think that the conversation we had yesterday um a key phrase that you you said to me and i wrote down in big letters is i'm creating my new normal uh, effectively all the habits all that stuff all that mental training i'm now creating the person I want to be, and it's in, I'm ingraining it now. So, so 
I'm creating the new normal, which is a fantastic way to think about it. It's the you are creating it, your new your new normal. Yeah, and and that I think is is the the for me, that's where the sustainable stuff's going to come from. That's what the program teaches you, um, and that's what's going to cement the sustainable sort of changes. Right in it. There we go. Look, there we go, Paul. I'm creating my new normal, and that's it. Which is really really exciting. Yeah. Really really exciting. Well, Paul, thank you so much for coming on, you know, and just sharing like your experience. You know, I know for some people it's like it's hard to, to share, but you know, you're you're embracing everything. You know, like you've you've come in with an open mind as well. You know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Mm. But you know, you have like you've come in with an open mind and you're you know, you're doing you're doing the do, which is which is really, really good. So it's it's great. So just keep going. You know, you're not even halfway through the program yet and you're already like a stone down. Yeah. So keep going. You've feeling the benefits energy wise, you know, confidence wise around all of that as well. That's growing. Right. Well, I'm excited to see, to see where you're, well, this is like your lift off, isn't it? So this is really, really yeah, definitely. Exciting. So again, just thank you for coming on. My no, pleasure. Thank cool. you. And if anyone's got any questions um, outside of this that uh, haven't, you know, done it, I know Andy's been chatting away there. You know, <laughs> you know, love Andy. You know, he's a great guy. Uh, if anyone's got any questions outside of this, would they? Could they? Is it cool if they send you a message? Yeah, sure. No worries at all. Cool. Perfect. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us. Have a great rest of your day, and um, I will see you all. I'll see you all very, very soon.